Morning family. Well, I was the rustler this morning. Nobody else was up uh, before me. It'll be six o'clock. It's 6.30 now and I'm on the road. Um, on my way to, to Lador. Get that pronunciation right today. Um, I don't think there will be anything open on my way out of this town, sadly. Um, so, say bye to Cheers. From Ooze, which is way back over there, you can probably see some tiny lights. Here we go. Ah, and the sun coming up already. Beautiful. And you can hear farmers in their paddocks. And I'll just carry on on this trail. I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is a goose farm. It's still quite early, so there's not much light. I don't think they can see me. Yeah, I got to make this huge noise. Morning ladies, sitting in the shade. Well, it's not a lady, this one is a man. And the reason why I'm showing you this is that about there, if it was a clear day, we should be able to see the Pyrenees, or the Pyrenees, as we call it in Australia. But it's not clear enough, Teddy. Just came around the corner into this wine vineyard, and there were two deer. I've seen quite a few deer, but they were hard to hard to photograph for the kids. Um, and uh, they bounded off, so I tried to uh, see if I could catch a photo of them, but no good. Oh, this is a fish farm, aquaculture. Steam or water vapor coming off. One of the great things about travelling through France or the south of France on foot like this in September, September the 15th today, is um, the produce that's around. Um, uh, you know, all of the farms are in, uh, you know, have their crops. We've got corn here, which is probably least edible, but uh, there's always grapes. Um, on the side of the road is often apple trees, fig trees, plum trees, the plums which they make into dates. Um, so you can have your morning tea while you're walking, which is just great, it's fantastic. Um, obviously, you don't want to take um, you know, fruit from, um, from farms that are, uh, are, far, are harvesting them, but all the way around the side of um, each of the farms, there are fruit trees, and I'm more than happy for you to um, to, to take some fruit from them and eat, which is great. I will show you some of them as I go through. Corn, not that good for eating along the track. Chestnut, quite hard to get into, but there's the tree. These, of course, are grapes, and they're ready to be harvested at the moment so we don't really pick bunches and eat them or whatever because they belong to um, a farmer but um, I think they're okay if we have a couple every now and then mm. oh, so sweet an apple tree on the side of the road Plenty of apples. And this is a fig tree. Oh, I love the figs. There's one just there, I think I'll get it. Good morning tea. 
that I found on the side of the road in a, just in a short space. Um, usually butting up against somebody's farm, but they're over the road, so the fruit falls on the road or on the, you know, on the verge, which is great. Can't necessarily wash them, of course, which would be a nice thing, but look at that, that's morning tea. One of my favorite snacks for, um, that you can find in the forest comes from a, um, a, a tree which is found native in France. It's called the Boulangerie tree, which you find on the side of the road, usually close to uh, main centers, quite closely related to the uh, Italian spaghetti tree. Here is one of the species just here. And you can see the fruit uh, is there. This is quite uh, nice. Still for your morning tea. So kids, next time mum tells you to get some fruit, grab a couple of these. High in cholesterol, low in antioxidants, what else would you want for morning tea? These are sunflowers ready to be harvested and that's the seeds inside there and um, I can vouch for the fact that they are not edible. Hmm. Oh, this will be the town of Nogaro which is famous for uh, a I think. I can hear cars screaming around there. I'll be able to hear them for ages. Roads as well. Um, and now I'm going to head out towards Esul Lador, which is about 26 kilometers away. I've got a baguette for lunch, so I can have that along the way. Bean country now. Here you go. Lunch. Um, German baguette. Quarter of an hour rest and back into it. Nice view. Don't rain on me, clouds. It's a bit rainy now, which is um, a bit of a shame, but. I don't mind walking in the rain, it's, um, it's just another, it's another experience. Um, I'm about five kilometres I think, maybe a bit longer outside of um, Esulador. And um, I'm going to stay there tonight, so it'll make it probably about 52, 53 kilometres today. So good time to show you Lador. This is the river, the Lador River. It's costing me good, Jinti. I can see if I can find a jeet for you now. We just had a really nice dinner down there in a little pizzeria or Italian restaurant. Um, great food, really nice food. A great green salad and um, a pesto pasta with some shrimp in it, which was fantastic. Now yeah, I'm going back to my room in the jeet which is it's actually up the street but you get I'm gonna to get to it going down the side streets. Um yeah, the Lesur, lovely little town. This is Friday night. Mm, it's not funny. Underneath the pavement